Hi, I'm Marissa Media, Development Manager in the Carolinas. We are highlighting the many ways that Susan G. Komen's mission is being achieved in the Southeast and are pleased to have Pam Cole, Director of our Metastatic Breast Cancer Research Initiative here joining us. Hi, Pam. Hi, Marissa. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Okay. Well, thank you for being here. We would love to hear how long you have been at Susan G. Komen. I have been with Susan G. Komen uh, 10 years. I was the executive director of the Susan G. Susan G. Komen North Carolina Triangle to the Coast. And now I am the development director for the Komen MBC Collaborative Research Initiative. That is awesome. And can you tell us a little bit about your program? The MBC Collaborative Research Initiative, it's a brand new initiative that we are so excited about. It's going to have real impact and it is focused on research and we all know that research is what gives those of us who are living with metastatic breast cancer hope. Research is the only way that we're going to find treatment and cures for metastatic disease and it's metastatic breast cancer that is the breast cancer that kills. You know, the lump in your breast isn't gonna be the thing that gets you, it's, it's MBC, which is terminal, and currently there are no cures. So what all of us are hoping for and counting on is that Komen funding research will provide new treatment options for us and hopefully cures. Uh, as I said, right now, MBC is not curable, and trust me, for me and my family, we'd be happy to know that it was a chronic disease instead of, instead of a terminal disease. And research is going to give us that opportunity. So you mentioned there being a personal connection. Can you share a little bit about what the mission and what your work in particular means to you and how all of this inspires you to do your job every day? So I am uh, living with stage four metastatic breast cancer. I was diagnosed in January of this year. It will be five years that I've been living with metastatic disease. And as you know, the statistics that um, only 27% of us live to hit that five year mark. So I'm counting on hitting uh, that mark in January, 2022. And this project and this initiative where we are incentivizing, catalyzing, motivating the best and the brightest researchers at Duke Cancer Center and UNC Lineberger Comprehensive Cancer Center to focus their research on metastatic disease, finding treatments and finding cures is gonna have impact all across the world. It may be happening with the best and the brightest at Duke and Carolina, but the impact of finding new treatments and new cures is going to make a difference all around our country and really all across the world. That's amazing. I mean, very much moving Coben's mission forward, our visions of a world without breast cancer and your work and your, the funds that will be raised to support more research is going to do that. So very right. exciting. And it's the research that is critically important if we want to save lives then we have to find the answers to metastatic breast cancer. We need to find the treatments. We need to find the cures for metastatic disease. And this funding is specifically targeting MBC right here and making a difference for people who are living with MBC every day. So tell me what your favorite part of your job is. I think right now, my the favorite part of my job is knowing that I'm focused on finding treatments and cures for the far too many of us with MBC and being able to talk to folks who have metastatic breast cancer and help them feel that there is hope and to remind them that there are people who go into a lab every single day and are working just for us. And I have to say that when I meet with corporate leaders and philanthropists and talk about uh, motivating Duke and Carolina to work together on something since they're such big rivals uh, on the basketball court and the football field, that we are able to get these researchers to work together and to collaborate and to watch people's um, excitement and enthusiasm for this innovative and bold project. I just love it. Well, I'm excited just hearing you talk about it. Um, 
tell us also what you're looking forward to about your, your initiative through the end of the year. Well, the most important thing is that on October 13th, which is Metastatic Breast Cancer Day, we are going to actually announce two new collaborative MBC research projects. So we, when we embarked on this crazy idea uh, of getting uh, the best and the brightest to work together, um, our goal initially was to reach a million dollar milestone in the first year we wanted to raise a million dollars, which we did in a pandemic. Uh, and so on October 13th, we're going to announce two $500,000 metastatic collaborative breast cancer research projects. And I couldn't be more proud and more excited and just so thrilled that we are going to um, make a difference right here and focus on NBC. That is incredible. I look forward to hearing the announcement and we'll be sure to share where folks can learn more about the initiative and the announcement um, in the comments of this video. Anything that else you'd like to share great. with us? Right. Yeah. That sounds great. And as of right now, I'm working to raise that next million dollars so that next year we can give another two $500,000 grants to find treatments and cures and to save lives. That's awesome, Pam. Thank you so much for what you're doing every day. Anything Thanks, else you'd Marissa. like to share? Yeah. That's it. Thanks, Marissa. Awesome.